Hey, what's up, guys? Meteorologist Doug Hetty. It is Tuesday. Weather Savant's video. We're going to take a look around uh, the country, the hot spots. Uh, we got a big storm system, which is going to roll in a little bit later on this week. We're going to be talking about that as well. And uh, kind of look at long range forecasts just a little bit. First off, uh, I want to give a huge shout out to my boy, Superior Roofing and Construction. They're a four state premier roofing contractor. They're local. 7th and High Street in Joplin. Uh, they did my roof last fall. Did a good job. Uh, of course, we're heading into severe weather season. We're going to get, um, we're going to have a lot of episodes that we have high winds and hail. So make sure uh, if you have roofing needs, give them a call. Numbers right there on the screen. All right. Um, before we get into everything, I did want to talk about one thing. I want to be little vulnerable with you guys uh just kind of let you know what's going on obviously i lost my son a year and a half ago so uh you know his diagnosis was in june of 2020 so we're getting close to the three-year mark so the last three years of my life have been kind of crazy but uh i i keep getting asked um do i still work at koam Am I still the chief at KOM? Yes and yes, but I've had some medical issues. Uh, I had a really bad, about a month ago, I had a really bad concussion, and I have a little bit of a brain bleed or a brain hemorrhage, so I've got to take it easy on the screens, and so I have i haven't been at KOM um, doing all the newscasts because my brain can't take it, and I'm trying to heal it because I really don't want to have surgery on it, uh, so I just kind of want to to give you guys an update that, um, no, I'm, I'm here. I'm at KOAM. I'm going to be here during severe weather. I'm going to take care of all of you guys, but I I've also been dealing with a little bit of, uh, health stuff, which I will get taken care of. So, all right, guys, let's go ahead. Let's take a look and see what is going on. We have this weak little wave still right down through parts of Oklahoma. Look at this, even a little bit of snow. Earlier today, uh, western parts of Oklahoma, but in general, this is just kind of light showers uh, through Joplin, Kansas City. We're all seeing sunshine, so it's not a huge deal, but uh, just kind of weak little wave. Here's the hot spot. Look at this. Let's go to the uh, New England states. We got a nor'easter going on. Look at this snow. This is intense snow. So New York, uh, New Jersey, up to Albany, uh, Utica. Boston is kind of right on the edge. This is going up into Portland, Maine, Bangor, Maine. But there's going to be a lot of areas that pick up uh, nearly a foot of snow from this nor'easter, which I would love to see something like this. And we just could not get it this winter, and I'm very, very disappointed. Um, I do think we may get a little bit more snow, but I, I'm really disappointed we didn't get one good one, especially with the way the pattern is this year. We were in a pretty good spot. We just could not get the cold air. All right, let's go out west. Here's our next storm system. Look at this. More rain. So this has kind of been a problem in California because they've had so much snow in the upper elevations. Now they're kind of on an emergency snow melt, uh, which is going to produce water. Now they're getting more rain. This is the rainy season for California. They need the rain, obviously, but uh, they've been kind of smacked over and over and over again over the past couple months. But this system is the one that's heading out into the Central Plains and is going to affect us by Thursday. So let's jump into that. I got my Americano. Always go to uh, brew and bake right up the road. They give me an extra shot in it, you know, just to keep me awake. All right, let's see what's going on. This afternoon, we finally start to warm up a little bit. You remember that little wave, southern parts of Oklahoma. Here are the clouds, here are the showers. Uh, I think uh, the fourth state area gets about 52, Kansas City, 46, 47, 53 in Salina. As we go through tonight, southerly winds start to pick up. So this keeps our temperatures up. So it's not going to be near as cold tonight. Most of us only drop into the mid-30s. For overnight lows and then it gets windy on wednesday the entire central plains we're going to have winds gusting 25 to 30 upwards to 35 once you get out across central and western kansas winds are going to be gusting uh 40 to 45 but look at the temps into the 60s in joplin 64 kc 66 in wichita 75 in dodge city so it really starts to warm up 
here comes that next storm system. So let's go into Thursday morning. Here we go. Clouds increase. Showers develop by Thursday morning. Here's 7 a.m. Not really thunderstorms, but showers. But they continue to increase as we go through the morning hours. I'm a, a the four state area. I'm a, a little concerned. We kind of get split by this system. We get thunderstorms that build in southern parts of Oklahoma. Uh, these are actually thunderstorms just west of Kansas City, and this does fit the pattern. This is the same system that we saw. Oh gosh. I hope I don't fall out of my chair. Let's see here. Where are we here? So this is our December 6th system and then also January 24th. Interesting. Okay. Um, last time this came around, we did get some thunderstorms. So I, I expect to get that again. But look at the snow building out across central and western parts of Kansas. All right, let's go through the day. You got thunderstorms down through central parts of Arkansas. This is Thursday, 4 p.m. I do think we are going to see some severe weather south of Fort Smith. So this cluster south of Fort Smith is most likely going to be strong to severe. This little line here, east of Oklahoma City up to Tulsa, could be strong to severe. Now, see how it kind of goes up into southeastern Kansas? This is right along the front. Look at the wind shift line. These could be strong I'm not expecting them to be severe, but they could be strong. So let's watch that. As we continue, you can see how they push through. So here's 7.30 p.m. on Thursday. Thunderstorm Springfield Branson down toward Fort Smith. So these guys, these are the areas that we could see some strong to severe storms. The River Valley, Little Rock, down toward Texarkana, northern parts of Texas. Um, I think once you get up toward Joplin, we are just talking about a few strong storms. Look at a little bit of snow on the back side. So as we get into Thursday evening, we may get a quick little burst of light snow. Probably would not amount to much, but uh, could see a quick little burst of light snow. You can see by this time, 11 p.m., all the thunderstorms, eastern parts of Arkansas, and continuing to roll out of the region, but it turns sharply colder behind the system. All right, let's go long range a little bit. So this pass, this system moving through is the same one we had on January 24th and also on December 6th. Uh, the next big one that we had is uh, the February 1st storm that gave us thunderstorms. That is going to return late next week. The models really aren't picking up on it very well. But I do think we'll have thunderstorms. All right, so rain and snow Thursday. Uh, we cold, It gets cold again for the weekend. I just want to get outside and do some yard work, but every weekend we've had is cold. So can't do it yet. We do start to warm up next week. We do have a severe threat next Thursday and Friday. The models aren't showing this yet, but I, I think this will come together. We'll see. Thunderstorms on the 30th as well. So it would be about two weeks away. Let's jump into April a little bit. Remember, this is based on my pattern and also the LRC, Gary Lezak. All right, so April 5th, 6th, 7th, we have severe weather events. 13th, 14th could be severe. 21st, 22nd, and 25th. So this means April is going to be really active. I think once we get into May, it calms down a little bit, but then the second half of May, really starts to get active and we're going to talk more and more about this but I want to give you a video um thanks for letting me talk about my broken brain as well and i will be in tonight koam news five six nine and ten um yeah we'll chat soon